in Chicago. How you doing? Hey, what's up, dudes? How's it going? Pretty good. Good. How's the weather out in Texas, man? I spent some time in Fort Hood, and I loved it. It's pretty nice. Yeah, it's nice today. Yeah, man, it's pretty nice here in Chicago. But yeah, I called uh, last week, and the, com uh, the conversation got kind of stale. Uh, we were talking about uh, DNA and ancient civilizations, and I didn't have any references uh, on me at the time. Mm. And the host pretty much thought I was talking crazy, you know, out my wazoo, but <clears throat> there are actually uh, plenty of uh, architects and engineers who have studied some ancient sites and um, pretty much have concluded that they're, they're much older than what we initially believed and that uh, a lot more technical engineering had to go on into building the pyramids and other structures than uh, just using ropes and stone tools and copper chisels. And yet we've already demonstrated that it actually can be built that way. Um, and I'm wondering if these architects and engineers, I mean, it's, it's nothing to cite that you found an architect or an engineer that agrees with some fringe theory. You can find that for everything. There's, there's people with PhDs that support all sort of medical woo. The question is whether or not their claims have actually withstood peer review and are now accepted science. And if they're not, then there's no point in even, you know, talking about it until that happens. Well, the, I think the whole thing with peer reviews is um, I personally think they're kind of biased, you know. Cause yeah, they're biased, the, they're biased towards good evidence and reality. They, they have strict standards. And you're biased against the process of peer review because it's not coming up with the stuff you like to hear. Well, not necessarily. Yep. I'm, I'm all for peer on. review. You know, I've, I've graduated college and, you know, I've, I've written papers and, and I respect science, man. And I respect those guys. Um, but when things come up that contradict, you know, mainstream theory, they, they tend to be pushed to the side and not really looked at because they're, they jeopardize. You no, know? no, that's, here's the thing. Um, what happens is if we have a bunch of established, reliable scientific information that's a, that's a consensus where people have made predictions and, and it's been independently peer reviewed and independently verified. And if somebody comes up with, a, with an idea that is wildly different from that, then the position isn't, oh, you're crazy, we don't want to hear that. It's, where's your evidence? Let's review it. Because turning science on its head is the sort of thing that would earn Nobel Prizes and huge grants. Science isn't opposed to this, and science, by the way, isn't one, some one monolithic uh, you know, entity. It's, you know, if you had actual good evidence that would establish something that, that we thought was, that would have looked at as absurd, that's worldview altering. It's huge. Right. And yet, okay, well, then it's, you know, you don't get to portray it as because your pet theory hasn't actually survived good peer review. Maybe it will in the future. Maybe they'll come up with, you know, the evidence and you'll, you'll be found to be correct. Um, right. But the time to believe that is after it's happened and not before. Well, you know, I think it's, it's, it's all how you view the evidence and your worldview. If you place your uh, evolutionary worldview in a, a so-called uh, scientific established worldview on how you view the evidence, then, you know, you have to admit it can be biased. And I think it's exciting to know that people are coming forward with new evidence that challenges the mainstream. You know, and I'm no kook. I'm no, you know, I, I spent time in the military, and, and I used to be an atheist, and... <laughs> You know, I, I get where you guys are coming from. Some of the stories that creationists come up with, you know, to justify or validate their God is, I mean, it's insane. You know, because, you know, they've been brainwashed, you know, their religion. And But I, I have a different stance. But I happen to think that there's different um, evidence out there that's in contrary to the mainstream belief, especially regarding ancient uh, structures and sites and civilizations. And I can share a few with you if you, if you care to listen. I, I, sure, give me one, because I don't know what we can possibly accomplish from this. Um, it, to me, it's not any different than providing, you know, uh, calling in to say that you're convinced that homeopathy works, despite, you know, the fact that uh, nobody's been able to demonstrate this, and you've, you're, you've got some, you know, particular bit of information you'd like yeah, to present. It, it is, in fact, completely pointless 
to say this stuff to us. We are not right. the peers that are going to review this information. So we're not in a position to form uh, any kind of, uh, of compelling reaction to it. And all this is going to do is give you an opportunity to read your pet beliefs into the record. And I don't think there's any point to that. So, so tell me... Well, get back to us when, when the scientific establishment does agree with what you are telling us, and then we'll talk about that. Yeah, I mean, if we can't if we can't agree on how we go about finding the truth, I don't know what good it is for you to actually present your stuff. And every time, you know, uh, I listened to your to your previous call. Um, every time people disagree with you, you say, "Well, I believe blah de blah de blah." That's fine. You're welcome to your beliefs, but the fact that you have them doesn't make them special or anything that anybody else should pay the slightest attention to. Oh, I'm not, I think you're I wasting don't our time. Disagree with you. I mean, these these are my beliefs and beliefs of other individuals that clearly. And I don't care. You know, what mainstream. good is that? What good but is that to I anybody? Think the, the what matters? That I have to present, excuse me, caller. What, John. John. Hello. What matters is not what you believe. What matters is what you can prove. Right. <laughs> and and I have some evidence here that No, I mean, dude, you don't prove it by reading that evidence into the record. We don't know. know whether the we don't know whether the thing you want to tell us now is accurate. So and we are not the people who are qualified to make that to make that uh, decision. Nor are most of the people in our audience. That right. those claims need to be taken before people who are qualified to evaluate it. And all that letting you read that into the record will do is, you know, if uh, you're, you're coming from the standpoint of, oh, this is very exciting. And people do have a bad tendency to latch on to stuff that sounds exciting when they have I no agree. idea how to evaluate whether it's true or not. And so I think it's counterproductive to read exciting sounding, unproved ideas into the record. So I don't want to hear it. I disagree because that's what science is based on. No, 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 John, John, events. John, science is not based on calling into an atheist TV show. I know this happens to be a passion of mine. You know, I, I, we don't care. I like the discussion we between don't atheists care, and, and believers. And, you know, I'm always up for discussion. And I think this is something new that brings to it's the table. It's not new. Eric Von Donneken was doing this shit in the 70s. There's nothing new about this. Oh, all right, all right give, me, give me, because oh. because we always do this, I, I want to know what you believe and why. So you've got two minutes to tell me what your claim is and one piece of evidence for it, the best piece you've got. Oh, okay, I got it. Well, last week, uh, the, like I said, the conversation got kind of stale because I didn't have anything in front of me. But here's a list of architects and engineers who've been on the record confirming... Um, no, you're not going to do that. I'm not going to let you just rattle off a list of people. That's an argument from authority. I have no way of verifying any of these people, and what they no. say don't matter. Doesn't doesn't matter. I need evidence, not a list of people. I don't care if you have a right. thousand. Well, I just wanted to give some, some validation to what I'm saying. So you no, don't think no, I'm no, no, no. John, that doesn't validate you in any way. I don't give a damn if nobody has ever said it or if you have 100,000 people you can cite. You don't well, understand. I'm... No, you're done. If every single person on the planet who is not a uh, historian or paleontologist or whatever field these, these claims you are about to try to share with us uh, uh, whatever field those fall into, if every single person who's not qualified to evaluate that evidence thinks it's compelling, it doesn't matter. Does not matter. You know, I tried. I, I really, really tried. And John, if you're still listening or if you listen to this after the fact, here's the thing. I'm happy to hear what somebody believes in why as long as they don't drone on forever. Um, but you have to understand what the why part means. And if I give you the opportunity and you say, here's a list of people who think X, that's no different from reading Bible verses to me and I'm not wasting one bit of time on that. That is, I care too much about the audience that's actually watching this to have them start bleeding from the eyeballs and ears because you don't understand the scientific process and feel like rattling off a whole bunch of people who think something because that makes you feel like you're probably more right because as other people agree with you, I understand it. It's what keeps people in religions. The fact that they're constantly surrounded by a whole bunch of other people who agree with what they agree with. And some of these people have really fancy titles and funny hats. And it makes them important, but it doesn't make what they're saying one millimeter closer to being true.